What we have here today is something new. The newest member of the compact car family. And it's our most dynamic and practical compact SUV. It is, of course, the all new GLB. So, what is it? Well, it's a compact SUV with bundles of character and a unique style. And for the first time in the compact range, we've introduced a seven seat variant. Now this is one of the many things about the GLB which I think makes it unique. There's only one place to start with GLB and that is the styling. It's powerful, proud, with an athletic and robust stance. The surfaces are the centre of the design, with minimal lines but the ones that are here matter. My favourite is the belt line which runs from the front to the rear of the car and is accentuated by the kink below the rear window. This enhances the flared rear wheel arches, showing off the car's muscular shoulders. The bold two-piece LED high-performance headlights are standard on every GLB coming to the UK, as are the full LED rear tail lights with the same design as other SUVs in the Mercedes-Benz lineup with the four individual pieces. Here we've got the AMG line model with the more dynamic front and rear bumpers featuring twin chrome exhausts, flanking the rear diffuser and aerodynamically optimised alloy wheels in this gorgeous two-tone finish on all four corners. The long wheelbase is contrasted with the short front and rear overhangs, emphasised by the rugged wheel arches with room for wheels up to 21 inches in size. We have tall, upright, almost flat surfaces, curved and creased but only where they need to be. The new GLB may just be one of my favourite design cars on the market today. Moving away from the metal though, we can see the large glass house and the steeply raked windscreen too. You can tell from the outside of the car that there is loads of room inside. The interior world mixes analog features of a tall and wide cabin with the most up-to-date infotainment system with MBUX. The class-leading headroom in the front row allows for plenty of space. And with the adjustable second row of seats and the long wheelbase, there is loads of room for your passengers too. With the AMG Line Premium model, we have 64 colour ambient lighting and 12 preset options. You can customise the interior to match your mood and bathe the spacious cabin in almost every light colour you can think of. This looks stunning at night and under low light. There are so many simple but intelligent and well thought out design features that make living with the GLB a doddle. Like the large capacity door bins with more than enough room for a large water bottle and the way that the sills open with the door to stop you from getting dirt on your legs as you're getting into the car. One of the standout features for me is the MBUX system. How the entire operating system can be controlled either by your fingertips or using your voice. MBUX, I think, is by far the most beautifully designed and intuitive infotainment system on the market. It's fully customizable with different designs, different themes that you can choose as well, like this. And you can create different user profiles if the car is shared. There's lots to do and there's a few different ways of controlling it. Via the touchpad down in the center here, the two touchpads found on the steering wheel, or by using your voice. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigate to Woburn Sands. The route to Woburn Sands, Milton Keynes, is being calculated. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Tomorrow it will be rainy in Stevenage with a low of 10 and a high of 21 degrees. Now, I could go on for hours here, asking MBUX to find me a Mexican restaurant near my house, or even telling me a joke or what it thinks of other cars, as an example. Now, this system is the closest thing to having a real-life in-car assistant that I have come across. You don't need to just bark orders at it, you can really have a conversation with it, you can speak naturally to it. MBUX will learn you. The more you speak to it, the more it will understand you as well. You can just say to it, as an example, I'm too hot or I'm too cold, and it will know what you mean and adjust the temperature accordingly. The GLB isn't just designed for space and comfort in the front of the car. This continues on the second and on the third rows. The second row is fully adjustable and can be moved up to 14 centimeters forwards or back. The rear seats can be folded flat like so, 
and with these all down gives you a total load space of 1755 litres, a true estate sized load space. In other words, that's a larger load capacity than this car's bigger sibling, the GLC. Seven seat models feature a third row of seats which is found in the boot. The two seats are very easy to fold up. Simply pull on the two toggles, like so, and you have room for another two passengers up to a height of 168 centimeters. Now even the third row of seats comes with ice fix mounting points and top tethers, so you can fit up to four child seats in the GLB. The five seat models have a boot floor which can be removed and lowered down like this, giving you more than enough room to transport five people, some household essentials, fishing rods, maybe even an office chair around with you too. The GLB looks great when parked, but I think it looks better when it's moving. This is a car that wants to be driven. It's always keen and raring to go, to explore new roads and new dirt tracks with you as well. Now, this isn't just a good handling car for an SUV. This is a good handling car full stop. The road holding is superb. The mixture of the long wheelbase and the wide track gives it brilliant, brilliant stability. High speed cornering stability is fantastic as well. There's a lot of confidence that this car gives you. Now, another thing which I like about the GLB is the driving position and the view that you get out of the cabin. You sit upright, you sit tall, you have a commanding driving position and an exceptional view of the road ahead. The tall and upright windscreen gives you great visibility out, outside of it, as well as these large windows as well. Visibility around is great. The pillars aren't too thick. The A pillars are quite narrow. They don't take up too much of your view. And checking over your shoulder when you are joining the A1M, you have a massive great big bit of glass to look through when your eyes reach it. One thing I haven't mentioned too much is the seats. Not only do they look great, I especially like red stitching. I've always, always been a fan of that. But they're supportive and very comfortable as well. And the way the, the car sits on the road, the way that you sit in the car, this really is a place where I could spend quite a few hours at a time. Let's talk about engines. So the range starts with the GLB 200 petrol. This is a 1.3 litre turbocharged four cylinder engine giving you 158 brake horsepower. Now don't let the size fool you. Everyone that I've taken out with the 1.3 litre engine has told me that it feels like a 1.8 or a 2 litre and they are genuinely surprised when I say it's capacity. The engine itself is so small that you could fit it on an A3 piece of paper with room to spare and you wouldn't need that much more space for the gearbox either. For diesels, you have a choice of two two-litre four-cylinder turbocharged engines. Now these are part of the new OM254 family of diesel engines. The most efficient, powerful, torquey, refined and smoothest four-cylinder diesel engines that Mercedes-Benz has ever made. Built in a carbon neutral factory in southern Germany as well. Now in the 200D this comes with 147 brake horsepower and in the 220D which I'm driving here comes with 187. Now if you do a lot of intercity driving motorways like we're doing at the moment then I would recommend the diesel. Yes I may be biased because I always enjoy a high powered diesel but it's the blend of the responsiveness, the, the power, the torque that you just ride through. This car is keen to accelerate. Zero to 60 in a smidge over seven seconds for the 220D, which is verging on small hot hatch territory. This is a swift car. And it can switch through all eight ratios in the eight speed twin clutch gearbox quicker than you can blink, but smoother than you can imagine. I've been driving this car for a couple of hours again today. I think I've only noticed one, maybe two gear changes, but that was more from hearing the engine. The 220D gives you great performance, but a great fuel economy return as well. For me, it's the pick of the range. The range is topped by the Mercedes AMG GLB 35 4Matic Premium Plus with driving assistance package. This combines an already fantastic car package with driving performance engineered in by AMG. 
A dynamic 2.0-litre turbocharged engine delivers 301 brake horsepower to the road through its 4MATIC permanent all-wheel drive system. Prices for the GLB start at £34,530 for the GLB 200 Sport 7-seater. Moving up through the range we have AMG Line, AMG Line Premium which adds twin 10.25-inch screens, ambient lighting and keyless entry, and AMG Line Premium Plus which includes the incredible driving assistance package. All the optional extras are now included in the various option packages to make configuring your new GLB easier. Select the right engine for you, your favourite colour and equipment package, and that's it. The 7-seater GLB is available with every engine and trim level combination, whilst the 5-seater is only available as a 220D 4MATIC AMG line premium. Because what we have here with the GLB is such a complete package, I'm really struggling to think of anything that could improve it. Strangely, I don't actually think that shoehorning a large V8 under the bonnet would either improve it or make it any better. The GLB for me is one of those rare cars that has a character which you just can't help but fall in love with. It's one of those cars where you'll finish your journey, doesn't matter if it's been 10 minutes or, or 100 miles, and you'll find yourself trying to find a reason to go out and enjoy it all over again. And that's rare. The GLB is one of my favourite types of car, regardless of body style, because it knows exactly what it is, and it isn't ashamed of it. It is a tall, square wheel arch, flexible load space, tour de force, and it loves that. And for that reason, I think it's brilliant.